Hi everyone, it's Ann Huffman. <clears throat> I want to show you in one step how you can create uh, puzzle photos. Of course, uh, this is your prep work in finding the puzzle uh, design that you like and of course selecting your uh, photos. So I don't include that as part of the steps. But I'm going to use this one. And I did find out what was going on with my computer last night. There was a major update with Windows 10. If you haven't done that yet, you need to. <clears throat> and so, of course, you know, positioning is everything. So I'm going to try to inch this over to get it so that I can see her eyes. And in doing that, I need to... <laughs> Click on the picture now and stretch it out because it needs to be a little bit larger than the object on the top. You all know the drill with it. So now <clears throat> that I'm done with the prep work, this is the one step. I'm going to select both of these and I'll go to the crop tool and I will say subtract. <clears throat> and that is it. I'm going to right click and group all of the pieces together. Of course, you know me, I like to have my line color, uh, you know, a different color. So I'm going to select black. That's as black as it gets. Uh, but so you can see it. So it's all set now. And I'll show you what it looks like when we get over here and send if we were going to cut it. It beat me to it. This is the cut lines <clears throat> for it. So that's how simple that is, a one-step project that you can do. So I don't have anything else to show you. I just wanted to pop in and, and uh, continue to keep those creative juices flowing. When you do your puzzles, of course, you know, you want to make sure <clears throat> even if you don't have uh, the other um, – line that's coming down here, you want to give yourself a border so that your puzzle isn't open-ended. You know all of our puzzles are closed. Or when you're looking on Google, make sure you find a puzzle that is enclosed. So anyway, I'm going to leave you uh, back to the uh, holiday season. Close this.